So, fantastic. We have Jenny here. Hi, Jenny. Thanks for doing this uh, testimonial for us. You're you came into our, um, to our office seeking some relief or some help for your peripheral neuropathy about six weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Do you want to first start out telling us what your neuropathy in the feet felt like to you and how that was robbing the joy out of your life? Numbness, a pain, or a basically constant pain, mm -hmm. and just numbness and balance the way you you know the way I walk mm -hmm. uh, the pain in my feet would throw my balance off and, yeah so yeah. tell me more about this numbness I mean I've had numbness in my hand and it's kind of a kind of a pain in the hand it's an irritating sort of thing but it only happens when I ride the bike it's not that big of a deal but how was this a big deal for you how was it messing up your life hmm. well constant pain all the time mm -hmm. uh, I went to two other doctors and just basically they wanted to give you pills mm -hmm. you were the first one that has did an x-ray of my back uh, decided you know what you was going to do and discussed it with me and everything mm -hmm. yeah. and I have tried to follow your pa uh, plan as closely as I can yes. and I don't know I just see a huge improvement um, after maybe Two weeks up here, that would be mm -hmm. four visits. Yeah. I take notice that I was sleeping all night. Oh, you so know. this was bad enough that it was waking you up at night. Yes, okay, I was now awake at night. night. Couple, if I got a couple hours of sleep at nights, I was doing good. Oh. So, and I tried everything, you know, applying heat, uh, soaking my feet. Uh, might get a little relief for a while, but then mm -hmm. the pain would be right back. Mm -hmm. uh, massaging them. You know, wow. everything. Because well, I was the... not taking no medicine to get rid of the Oh, pain. okay. And then, so not sleeping through the night, that irritates the heck out of me when I can't, when I miss a night of sleep. But this was every night for you. Every night. And and what was that doing to your energy and just other... I didn't have any energy. You didn't have any energy. No. And what's that like nowadays? Oh, I've got oodles of energy. Oodles yeah. of oodles. energy. I love that. Oodles. Okay. And, and as you know, I retired yeah. from work. Yes. And depending on, well, right now, I, I told my husband, I said, you know, I think I may go back and just sub some, you know. Really? Yeah, so I'm, you know, really considering uh, going back subbing. Wow, that's a, you know? yes. that's a good thing. Yes. That, that's a yes. good thing. Wow. Yes. Also, you were mentioning that you and your doctor are working on getting off of or reducing some of the medications. Mm -hmm. Do you care to share some of that with us? Um, the acid reflux medication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm taking, I seen him last Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, so we discussed it because uh, I told him that I can go three days without using it. Yes. With, you know, with really watching my diet close. Right. So he said, well, if you want to, you go for a month, take it only on the third day. Okay. And then after that, uh, you can just quit taking it. If you can yeah. make it yeah. for a month, yeah. you can just quit taking it. That sounds like a, actually sounds like a yes. reasonable plan. Some yes. things you can go cold turkey on. Some medications, Tylenol, Advil, morphine, cold turkey, mm -hmm. you're not going to harm anything. But with protein pump inhibitors... Uh, or proton pump inhibitors, um, acid reflux medications like what you're taking, it's it's a better plan to do that. But that's an exciting thing, being able right. to reduce or eventually get off. Right. Good. Any other medications you're looking towards getting off or any other goals you have? Yes. Yes. The, the cholesterol medicine, Good. I want off of it. Okay. You know, um, the... Uh, I'm on a high blood pressure medicine, but it's a real low dose. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, I don't think I really need it because when I'm at home, my blood pressure is like normal because I've got the thing to take yeah. it. I think it's called the white coat syndrome when you see yeah. the doctor walk through the door. Sure, sure. It, it would probably go up with you if you had a white coat on, you know. But, uh, okay, I'll remember that. You know, okay. I'll remember that. But uh, well, I, think really it's, I think it's just... You know, being in a doctor's office and seeing him walk through the door with the white coat and you Boy, that's fantastic. Worse. And once again, you know, you're halfway through the program, so we yes. got we still have another six weeks or so to go mm -hmm. in your case. Anything to share? Because I know that not everybody's extremely gung ho to come in and there's some skepticism because they've been told by their doctor and then the neurologist and their family. Everybody out there is saying there's nothing you can do, you're just getting older, get used to it. What if somebody's watching this and maybe they're a little leery, a little skeptical, starting? Don't pay any attention to what your doctor said, you know, because like I say, both doctors I went to uh, wanted to give me pills and mm -hmm. basically it was narcotic because they told me I would have to take off from the bus 
until, uh, for about a week until I seen how the medicine reacted with right. me. It wow. was one during the day and it was another one at night. Yeah. But that's covering things up. That's mm -hmm. not finding that's right. the cure. You know? That's right. You know, so, so what's your advice for somebody who's... Come uh, in here, give okay. you a chance. You know, I think they will be okay. more than satisfied. I know I have. Good I just advice. wished I'd have found you six years ago, oh. you know, and I wouldn't have had all this suffering because this has been going on a good six years. Oh. And the, what, six weeks I've been coming yep. here to you? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh, it's been well worth it. Oh, that's phenomenal. It, it's been well worth it. Well, you're a pleasure working, working for, because I figure the way I feel it is that somebody comes in here like yourself, you're deciding whether you're going to hire me to get this job done or not. So it sounds like we're getting the job done. You said you're yes. 80 to 90% better and you're happy. So that, like yes, we talked about happy. off camera, yes. you said, I don't even care what your numbers say. I'm happy, I'm doing That's better. <laughs> I don't care what your numbers yeah. say. It's I'll tell you already, the numbers are actually looking up. They're looking really good and I was too excited. We'll share, we'll share that with you next time, but you're looking like you're really improving, really getting some nerves to regenerate and regrow so that's uh, that's really I exciting so. yeah it's showing up already put her there oh, oh, Thank you. Come here. oh it's been a pleasure working with you too and then we'll uh we'll keep going for the next uh six weeks and maybe we'll meet up again here on camera okay okay thank Sounds you like a